So St. Louis, uh, I think, is a great place to live. Um, you know, coming from New York City, uh, didn't quite know what to expect. I grew up on uh, in the Midwest uh, myself, so I was excited to go there. My wife, uh, not necessarily. Uh, but I'll tell you, after a year of living there, she really, really loved living there and could see herself living there in the future. And in fact, uh, you know, doing, um, you know, living in St. Louis where all of the museums are free, the zoo is free, uh, it's a really family friendly place. Uh, and there's never a shortage of uh, things to do there. My twin brother lived there for nine years and he just left there and I'm really sad about it, but at least I get to come visit Chris. Uh, once this pandemic dies down uh, to hit all the, all our favorite spots. And after only living there a year, I feel like I have multiple places that I would go regularly just for a weekend, uh, whether it be for food or for uh, a beer or, um, you know, just going to the zoo with my kids. Um, you know, St. Louis is a great place to live. You know, the things that I really enjoy living in St. Louis is just how easy it is to get around. There's great restaurants. Um, and bars right next to the hospital. If you choose to live near the hospital, it's super easy to get around. You can walk, walk to work. Um, everything is kind of at your fingertips, um, but you could also get in your car and, and, uh, and drive to just anywhere in the city, kind of just do whatever you want. It was a big change uh, coming from New York. You know, Times are a little different right now, but you know, pre-COVID, even the you know, professional sports, Teams were very accessible. Cardinals, you know, we got a chance to go see the Blues play, the Stanley Cup champions, and, and you know, it's very easy to do that compared in some bigger places. Um, but hands down, my favorite thing was Forest Park, which is a gigantic city park um, right adjacent to Barnes um, with just about everything you would want. Really great zoo, you know, miles of running trails, biking, um, and tennis courts, golf course, and it was just really a phenomenal uh, resource to just be able to go out for a run in the morning uh, before going into the hospital or, you know, to, you know, after work to just have the park right there and accessible is something I, I miss now. I mean, uh, St. Louis is a, is a, a great city. I mean, there's the, the, um, the park is obviously amazing. There's lots of like free museums. There's a lot more free activities, I think, than a lot of other cities. Um, and I think it's got um, some really cool shops and places to go. So when you have time to get coffee or a drink or something, there's, there's some cool spots to, to check out. Yeah, I, for me living in St. Louis, um, I came with three children. So um, St. Louis was a wonderful opportunity. <clears throat> like uh, Sarah said, there were so many things that were free, uh, which is just unique to have a city that offers so many things for kids to do and families to do for free. The zoo is outstanding. We did it nearly every weekend. Um, all of the museums are free. Uh, everything was, was tr truly phenomenal. So I think for me, just because I had children there and, and family with me, uh, the activities around St. Louis, and I think my family would agree, were, were truly world class and certainly <laughs> better than we get to do now. So, I agree. I mean, I really enjoyed the year in St. Louis, um, and I came from a city that I absolutely fell in love with in Seattle. And you know, I was like, you know, it was a completely different city than Seattle, but it's, you know, it's a perfect city to live in. And it's definitely a perfect city to live in for one year. I mean, it's got everything that you could possibly want. I lived right in the central West End. And I agree with Brinkley. It was awesome just finishing clinic on a Friday, you know, fellows clinic. And then everybody goes and grabs a beer five minutes away, you know. And even the hospitals that I worked at, you still couldn't do that. You can just walk really down the street and go and have a bunch of restaurants and bars to just hang out with. And there's a good number of fellows who live in the central West End and we all live walking distance to each other. And I was not with my wife that year because um, she was still back in training. And that was huge for me to have a whole group of people that was there, you know, to just hang out with. Otherwise it would be very lonely just to kind of be away from your wife for a year and not have anybody to hang out with. I also say Neil would often bring up how cheap food was in St. Louis. Yeah. Like we would go, like we'd go to great restaurants. Right. And the food was way cheaper than where we lived before. And, yeah. that, and it was really And good. there's a plethora of awesome restaurants. Like all I did in residency was go out to eat. All I do now for fun before COVID was go out to eat. 
Um, and St. Louis definitely did not disappoint with the food scene. I mean, it was, it's really good. And then, you know, I like going to sports games and stuff. And St. Louis has basically every sport, you know, besides football you can want to watch. Um, yeah, it's, it's an easy place to live. And I think it's, um, it's fun to, the, the, the hospital is right across from um, a bunch of different restaurants and bars and very close to where people live. And there's sort of this atmosphere of, oh, you finish clinic and you walk across the street and you hang out with each other for a couple hours and then you kind of go your separate ways or, or meet back up again later. And it's, you, I think you end up doing more spontaneous things together um, because it's, it's easy. And, and, and even though people might live separately, it kind of feels like when you're on campus, they, you know, campus isn't just necessarily right inside um, your offices, but there's sort of this community right nearby that makes it um, fun to hang around and easy, and we did that frequently, and that was really nice. The, you, I think you all, all three of us had different li living situations, different living environments in St. Louis. I came to St. Louis uh, with a young family, uh, and, and St. Louis was um, you know, phenomenal from that perspective. We were able to live you know, in a, 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 a a townhouse a duplex just south of Forest Park, um, you know, which is again in the heart of the city, uh, which in the heart of cities is maybe not so great in some spots, but it's just a phenomenally friendly, a family friendly uh, neighborhood and certainly had a chance to, to get the kids out. I think one of our, uh, one of our joys was, uh, you know, family events and, and again, uh, th thanks to the, the, the program uh, uh, chief, uh, Dr. Boyer, certainly we had complimentary uh, St. Louis Blues tickets uh, here and there. Uh, and so you having the, the kids that get get out and see the blues, see the arch, uh, it was fantastic. The uh, you know I think um, perhaps the my my co fellows can talk to more of the restaurant scene and the night scene than I can because uh, uh, those those days are past me. Um, but uh, but St. Louis again, family friendly, easy to live. You know I think one of the best things for me is you know, living within a stone's throw of the hospital. Um, you know here uh, where I'm at now in, in the Dallas Fort Worth area. You know, it's it's a long haul to work. It's a long haul from work, and the the traffic is is miser miserable. I mean, probably rivals uh, and probably rivals where you drive, Neil, in yeah. Atlanta. But um, but again, you know, you know, having proximity and and I thought you know relative safely and, and access to fun things for the family was 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 very good. As far as um, what uh, was special about St. Louis and what did we like about St. Louis, uh, I say we because my wife and my dog came with me out to St. Louis. Uh, so we lived close to campus, uh, to the main campus and uh, close to uh, the park. Um, Forest Park is great. It's got so many awesome cultural activities. There are museums. Uh, there's the zoo, which I'm sure Sky will talk a little bit more about. Yeah. He probably has more experience with. Um, but, uh, you know, we had, uh, you know, even dog meetups with local people in the zoo, in the, in the park uh, on a weekend basis. Um, and we were, me and my wife were able to go to those as, as frequently as we could. There was hiking 20, 30 minutes away uh, at multiple different spots that was, um, you know, really substantial and, and really enjoyable. And the food scene was, was pretty good. Um, you know, we, there, there were um, uh, good restaurants that we frequented regularly. Um, certainly Dr. Boyer's house was um you know a, a good restaurant in and of itself uh, uh that, that actually added a significant amount of um uh you know a special time uh with our with our program director he was uh, he hosted us um you know frequently on the weekends for breakfast so um you know there were a lot of great things about the city and, and it's also really easy to live there especially as a fellow you don't want to be dealing with like the hardships associated with big cities and uh or driving long distances to get from one site to another that wasn't really a huge issue what I really like about living in St. Louis, kind of going off of what Sobel said, is how easy it is. It's a very easy city to live in. Um, on paper, it doesn't seem like the most exciting place. Like I know going to New York or being in the Pacific Northwest, or it seems like there's a lot cooler places to be than in kind of the middle of the country. Um, but I really enjoyed it. I still live in St. Louis. We plan on staying here, staying in the area. Um, it's just a logistically very easy place. It's 10 minutes to get anywhere. You're not going to get stuck in traffic. You know, as you talk to places and fellowships, ask how much of your time are you driving? And in St. Louis, you don't have to drive. The infrastructure allows for so many more people than actually live here. So it's really easy to get around. There's tons of fun stuff to do. Yes, we don't have an ocean, uh, but besides that, they have everything else. It kind of really is a kind of hidden gem city. 
in that you don't have the massive influx into places you have in like Nashville or Seattle or New York. Instead, all the stuff that's here can be easily gotten to and uh, enjoyed without having tons and tons of people there. So I really didn't think I was going to love St. Louis. Uh, now we plan on staying.